Okay, we are online. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Genshin Impact. Uh, so, we have to continue our event quest to go talk to Wang Yan. And that should be it. Hold on. Hold on, I should adjust the audio. It's a bit too loud. I think that's better. Yes, that should be better. Okay. Uh, hopefully, uh, nothing goes wrong. Don't have any more audio issues from the game and not OBS or screen mirror specifically. to look for those then it's a tall order but i'm sure you can manage oh boy oh god i don't okay we're gonna deal with ruin hunters we're gonna have to actually be prepared on that so let's get uh hmm Guess we'll have Noel. Okay. Ugh, I'm not looking forward to fighting another Ruin Hunter. The bane of my existence. Why do these guys keep coming back? Okay, that should be it. Okay, got that as right. I think we're gonna go up there. Good thing I got eaten there for that.
right, let's rest. Okay, so, oh, oh wait, it's over there. Ooh. Okay. Ugh. Hopefully it'll go smoothly. God damn it. Oh, it's going smoothly. Okay, good. Oh, I guess we don't need ether after all. Oh, yes, that's right. I need to pick some sweet flowers. And some of this stuff. Okay, anyways, let's get back. And if that's it, then I'll probably do another Theater Mechanicus. Okay, I think I've gotten it down. I think the problem was that I didn't upgrade the mechanic eye last time, so, but still, I think not being able to attack the enemies when you're supposed to be defending it kind of ruins it. <laughs> and you? Well, let Hyman see. Well, well, that doesn't sound like something you'd wish for. That's my sister's deepest desire. So you need a wish for her instead. Don't you worry. Hyman will help you find her, and we'll spend the next lantern night together. Then we'll release a gazillion shell lanterns to make up for all those wishes you've never had a chance to make. We sure will. If you're done with your carving, you can hand over your Azerite and Vermilionite to me. Miss Molia. Well, hello, Chen Chen. What's up, little missy? Can't find your granddad? Granddad said he's busy and I should go play on my own. I don't want to make a shell lantern, but I don't know how. Miss Molia. Could you help me make a shell lantern? Sure thing, but promise me that you'll go back home as soon as we're done playing. With so many people at the festival, your granddad will be worried sick if you stay out too long. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Monia. I'll be a good girl, I promise. So you know how to make shell lanterns too? I certainly do. That's how I made my first Mora, helping visitors make shell lanterns by the docks. Oh, good times. <laughs> I should really stay here to keep an eye on the girl. Hey, could I bother you to go to the construction site at the dock and gather some building materials? Happy to help. Great, thanks. I appreciate it. I don't think it should be too long, even if it's like 50 minutes.
Wait. Wait, am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way. Hey, is that a treasure hoarder? Hey, what you doing? What you staring at me like that for? Get gone! Wh huh? All right. If you all won't get gone, I'm just gonna get going myself, I guess. Wow! Kaima thought he might be a shady character. Then he opened his mouth, and now Kaima's sure of it. He must have been up to something when he was crouching down on the ground. Because as soon as he saw us approaching, he stood up and acted all innocent. Paimon has a bad feeling about this. What could he be up to? Let's investigate. Well, this area is full of construction supplies for the Ming Chao Lantern. Paper, oil, wood. I'm on you're taking this very seriously. Why? Because because Evelyn and Leela has worked really hard for this. No one should be allowed to spoil it, period. What's the real reason? Oh fine. There's so many delicacies in Leela Harbor. Matsutake meatballs, Mora meat, almond tofu. Are you reading those off of a menu? Did you get the materials? Sure did. Ah, yes, these will do. Let me make a shell lantern for Ching Ching. There's more. We saw a shady character scoping around the highly flammable materials at the construction site. He looked like he was up to no good. I see. Okay, please inform the Ministry of Civil Affairs about what you saw. I'll talk to Jing Lin. With so many people visiting for the lantern, right, we can't afford to ignore something like this. Miss Wangya, is something bad gonna happen at the Lantern Right? Not to a darling little angel like you, Chang Chang. Come on now, good girl. Head back to your granddad and don't get distracted along the way. We don't want to make him worry. No. Oh. Halt! This is the Liu Wei Ministry of Civil Affairs. We are here to report a suspicious individual. Yeah! We saw a shady looking guy snooping around near the stockpile of highly flammable Ming Chao lantern supplies. We must defend the grilled tiger fish food cell at all costs! Hmm, goodness. This is a serious matter indeed. Exactly what Paimon thought. Liyue Harbor cuisine is the heart and soul of the city. It seems we disagree on where the seriousness of the matter lies. But you're not wrong, my little friend. Rest easy. The Ministry of Civil Affairs has assigned a specialist to keep the Lantern Right safe. I will inform him of this matter and order him to step up vigilance in due course. I wish I could, but he's yet to return. He's taken a small team to Guili Plains. 
I'll go to Goily Plains and tell them. Huh? Uh, but you're a traveler, aren't you? You've come all this way for the Lantern Rite, and yet you are willing to lend a hand? That's what I do. Um, leave it to us. R really? Huh. Then we are indebted to you. Travelers are so kind these days. Ah, uh, yes. No commission should go unpaid. I will take care of the compensation. Again, thank you both. Change party. Me big titties. Right, let's go. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if I'm gonna be streaming Super Mario 3D World today. I think I need some time off after this live stream. Okay, why is there a mint growing in the mountain? Well, then again, we do have like violet grass growing out in the mountains. Barely. Oh my fucking god, these controls. God damn it. Why are these guys so annoying? They should die immediately. Good thing I got bite out. Uh, not yet. I have, like, World Bowser to do, and then there's also those three uh, special worlds we gotta do. And then we also have to do Bowser's Fury, which I don't know how long that's gonna be. Who? Who are you? GIS sent us. Oh, thank you. If it weren't for your help, today may have ended quite differently. What is it you're doing here? I'm in charge of keeping the Lantern Rite safe. A lot comes out of the woodwork at this time of year. There are thieves around every corner. I encountered one during my patrol just now, so I called a few men and we pursued them out here. Once we got here, we decided to split up. I was searching this area. The thief seems to have made a clean getaway, and I sure didn't bank on these monsters being here. I was just assessing whether it would be better to send for reinforcements or find another way to disperse them. And that's when you showed up and dealt with them. And thank goodness. I don't know how long it would have taken for the others to get here. Well, I need to get back to looking for that thief. But thanks for your help. Until next time. Wait a second. We're not done here. Oh, is there something else? There's a suspicious character down at the harbor. Uh, another one? It's interminable. Right. Well, when I get back, I'll get the other troops to be extra vigilant in the area. 
in the middle of a festival too. What are they up to? Robbery. Did you get the feeling? Perhaps we should take this into our own hands. I don't know how long Bowser's Fury is going to take. Hopefully, like, at least two videos long, maybe. But you never know. But I do know that Bowser's Fury is going to be big. Who knows, maybe like half the size of Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, but I am hoping I can get it done uh, before... You know, Gerard's video of Super Mario 3D World comes out or anything like that. Because I definitely don't want to be spoiled. Oh, he's still there. We should chase after him. Xiao? What are you doing here? Huh? Shadow? Are you here for the festival? I have no interest in lantern right. I sensed a malign influence here. I'm here to investigate. When a shackle is loosened in the realms of deities and demons, I take full responsibility. But this time, the threat comes from the mortal world. Your world. Thus you shall take full responsibility, mortal traveler. When the time comes, I hope you shall act promptly and decisively. I do not wish for the tassel of the polearm that has slaughtered countless demons to become stained with mortal blood. What's this? A symbol that your suspected evildoer left behind. Paimon, do you recognize it? Doesn't look familiar to Paimon. Well, you will have to show me how much you can accomplish on your own strength. Because if I become involved... There is a possibility that the streets of Liyue Harbor will be painted red this lantern right. And it's up to me to avoid that. Well, that sounds terrible. Uh, let's not be impulsive. Why don't we figure out the origin of this symbol first? The one the suspected criminal left behind. Oh, Paimon has a sneaking suspicion that Kai will know something about it. Up to Kaya, all the way from Mondstadt. Okay. I mean, we could just talk to him, like, right now because he's on our team, but whatever. Mahoyo didn't really think that out. <laughs> well then, we ought to be looking forward to Mondstadt's Ludi Harpastum. I'm sure it will be to your liking. Get to the point, Paimon. Right, right. Kaya, there's something I need to tell you about. Hmm. Lantern supplies. Stockpile of wood, paper, and oil. At the very least, it sounds like an accident waiting to happen. <laughs> How very amusing. What makes you think I would recognize this symbol? You're amazing at <laughs> You flirt with the dark side, so you would know. Exactly! Uh-uh. You should watch what you say, honorary knight. 
What do you mean, flirt with the dark side? The Knights of Favonia certainly does not have dealings with its enemies. That has to do with a certain knightly virtue called integrity. Anyway, I digress. This is the symbol of the cross-border criminal organization you know as the Treasure Hoarders. If you are curious to know more, I can put you in touch with an informant on the inside. This is my own personal informant. Nothing to do with the Knights of Favonius. A little later, make your way over to Windrise. I'll arrange for the informant to meet you there. Thanks, Kaya! Oh, and remember, wine begets wisdom. Nimrod's our informant. Huh? Hey, you're the guy, right? Kaya's informant? Informant? <laughs> Not me. But this is the place we agreed upon. And you're the only other one here, so... Place we agreed upon? <sighs> I know nothing. Ugh, stop being so annoying. Uh, wine begets wisdom. Okay, yeah, it's me. How was any of that even slightly necessary? Oh, Paimon. What do you want to know about? <sighs> Here's the situation. Okay, I see. So, what can you tell us as an insider? I do not think this is the work of the treasure hoarders. The reason the treasure hoarders are able to sustain a giant cross-border operation is because they abide by one fundamental principle. Caution. Softly, softly, catchy monkey is the name of the game for them. By contrast, the idea of taking huge risks to try and make a fortune is utter folly in their eyes. Li Yue has the Adepti looking after it, doesn't it? And they're especially active during the Lantern Rite. There's just no way that we, uh, sorry, they, <laughs> slip of the tongue, when you've been undercover as long as I have. <laughs> uh, uh, like this. Uh, oh, yes, uh, there's no way that they, the treasure hoarders, would dare make a move during the Lantern Rite. Also, the treasure hoarders organization in Liyue recently received an anonymous letter. Trying to frame them, perhaps? Nobody knows. But what I can tell you is which branch of the treasure hoarders has the letter in their possession. Uh, <laughs> there. I've marked their location on the map for you. Great! Well, Paimon thinks this was productive. This is our only solid lead. Let's not waste it. If there's nothing more, I should get back to treasure hoarding. Yeah, I mean, get back to those treasure hoarding lowlifes to uh, spy on them. <laughs> oh, it's near their bandit town. Okay, why did it suddenly become night? Is 
I think it, this has to be the one. There's a tent set up. In there and then there's treasure hoarders. Talk to the members of the treasure hoarders. Oh my fucking god. Or I could do this. Okay. Sorry, pal, wrong way. <laughs> Wherever you think you're going, it's that way. But you're supposed to leave a leeway in harbor. Right. Here is nowhere. So the other way is Leeway Harbor. If you're looking for somewhere to stay, I suggest you go to the Wongshu Inn. Fair prices, great customer service, and a wonderful view. Show us the anonymous letter. How do you know about the letter? Uh, one of Leeway's adept had told us about it. <laughs> Did they now? I somehow doubt that. You should not doubt it. It was I who sent them to investigate. Any further questioning, you may direct to me. <laughs> Did you just appear out of thin air? That's an adeptus for you. You're the vigilant Yaksha. Hey, watch your tone of voice. If you seriously want to pick a fight with an adeptus. <laughs> the, okay, it's not that we don't believe you're an adeptus. It's just everyone needs to look at the bigger picture here. As you well know, we treasure hoarders are no serious threat to anyone. We're petty criminals, that's all. <laughs> that's so still a threat. If you are truly an adeptus, please show us some mercy, would you? Of course. If it turns out you're not a real adeptus, then please don't blame our weapons for treating everyone equally. Down to death. I can fix this. Jesus Christ, why do they have to clone themselves like that? Please, my heroic friend and adeptus buddy, have mercy. <laughs> the letter is dribble anyway. It's not worth an armed conflict. Just take it. How about that? Karma knew it all along. <laughs> Let's see what they wrote. I see. Then let us send these two to the meeting. The sender may be plotting something truly diabolical for the Lantern Rite. It seems they want to burn down the entire city. Great, everyone's happy. <laughs> You're good, we're good. However... What? These two, they don't look anything like us. It'll be fine. When we're in disguise, no one will be the wiser. It still seems like a long shot to me, but... With the help of an adeptus, hopefully everything will turn out fine. Well, the safety of Leela is in your hands now. Good luck. Even the treasure hoarders don't want to see the city burned to the ground. Then it is settled. Wait. <sighs> what is it? Next time we meet, huh? let's make it somewhere with a view of the Ming Xiao Lantern. I am not partial to crowded areas, especially at this time of the year. When this matter is resolved, come to Wangshu Inn. In previous years, the Ming Xiao Lantern has been visible even from there. Huh? Wait! It's vanished! Did he go back to Wangshu Inn already? But the time mentioned in the letter, that's today, isn't it? Come on, let's go to the meeting place. Hyrule wonders what the sender of the letter is planning. Is it? Oh, right over there.
You folks from the treasure hoarders, yeah? I thought I insinuated in my letter there that you should have done like I done and put on a mask and a costume and so forth. But it seems you didn't all get the memo. <laughs> it's pretty cool, though. Gutsy. <laughs> this getup is pretty cool, though. Agreed. Wait a second now. You folks ain't no treasure hoarders. What game are you two playing? Genshin Impact. some sort of lucrative opportunity then submit my pledge of loyalty wait a second none of this is making any sense Tyra was expecting a serial arsonist to be someone more sinister evil looking but instead we get you arson what the heck are you talking about don't pretend Paimon's seen you loitering around piles of Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I know where you're talking about, but I was only checking the place out. Got nothing to do with those lantern construction materials. Are you serious? Well, I just wanted to nab me the biggest chunk of plus trait in 20 years is all. I was going to wait till nightfall, chop off half the tethers, float it out to sea. Oh. Then all I'd have to do is find some way or another of bringing it down so I could hide it underwater in the shallows. The perfect crime. Uh, for a perfect crime, it sure has a lot of holes. For example, how exactly were you planning to bring down the plot straight once it was airborne? Well, I was still in the process of figuring out the details, hence why I hadn't made my move yet. This guy is an imbecile. You could say okay, that again. Let's teach him a lesson. <laughs> Of that idiot. <laughs> Let's head back. We can notify the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Welp, that was certainly a waste of time. I mean, not this quest, just this entire plot. spreads fast. <laughs> we will keep watch over the thief. Thanks for your help. Looks like the Ming Xiao Lantern will be ready soon. Hmm. A critical juncture. We cannot afford the slightest interference. On the topic of keeping lantern rights safe. Rest easy. Word was passed up the chain. Another group of very capable troops have been brought in. They're dressed as ordinary citizens. You wouldn't notice them in the crowd. If anyone dares make a move, they'll be on them in an instant. Huh. That's sorted then. You two get some rest, we'll take it from here. 
Enjoy the lantern right in peace. So, Kaina supposes that's taken care of then. If only Zhao were here to see the Ming Xiao lantern. <sighs> Kaina wishes so too. Guess he won't make it this time. Wait, do you remember what the inspiration for the Ming Xiao lantern was? Uh, an adeptus? Yeah, with a name like Skybreaker or something. So if it's modeled on an adeptus, maybe Xiao would be interested this time. On the day the Ming Xiao lantern is ready, we can meet him at Wang Shuin like he suggested, then try to persuade him. Uh, even though he said you can see the Ming Xiao lantern from Wang Shuin, we should get up close if we want to get that festival atmosphere. All right, now that that's done. Can I get something? There's that. Walk around that. Okay, better go do that. And then there's a seat of Mechanicus. What else is there? Oh! I missed that. In the Xiao Market, we got stuff. Mm, I better go save that up. First. Okay, let's just wait. Let's just go to Zhao. Or whatever. I don't care about that guy, legitimately. He's rude, he's annoying, and he's boring. He looks like Soren if he became punk and wheeled a lance and got tattoos and stuff and cut his hair. You know what I mean. Oh, we have to go down. That's all this guy is. Oh, wait, I was supposed to talk to him. What happened? Okay, something's going on. Sorry I haven't been talking. I'm legitimately not caring. When they don't speak, that's when I don't care. Uh, I'm here to help out. Ingredients. Alright. Hopefully I don't get spooked by some weird-ass ghost. Oh yeah, also I haven't been very, uh, I also haven't been keeping good I haven't been getting all the treasures, especially the artifacts. I've just been super lazy. Oh. So annoying, I have to go in the water and pick it up. Here we go, and here we go. <laughs> Whew, made it on time. Oh yeah, look at those titties. Good. 
Oh, I love titties. Okay, anyways. Yeah, all done. I gotta go talk to her. Actually, I should go check on my ingredients. Manage. Oh. Did you come here to bring shell lanterns? Oh, nah. I'm gonna ask the boss. Alright, let's do it. it I think I can just fly there or glide there and see some nice ass over here actually doesn't really look that nice it's, I don't think it's like properly textured well but then again she's not wearing any tights so that maybe that might be the reason why I guess like the same might go for like Xiong Ling. Oh my god, please don't tell me he's caught up with some monsters. Oh, what the? I think that Hitley Troll just went floating up. Looking for materials? Oh. Ah, oh, crap. That's fine, I can get another one. Should be very easy to do. Like, yeah, I think I know where I can get like another core lapis. Done with that. Let's keep doing that. Okay, let's heal up, get the core lapis, and then get out. And do feed a mechanicus, and then I'll call it a day. Okay, so I think there might should be one here around there. Here, there it is. I'm just gonna deal with this guy first. Alright, got it. Uh, did I remember to heal? I'm gonna do it again, just in case. Okay, I did remember to heal. Alright, uh, now let me set up my team. Mm -hmm. 
things come up. One more theater mechanicus. And then I should color today. So I can do more train stuff. The problem with this is that my elemental burst gets deleted. I think I'm gonna play it safe. Just stick with this. Oh, what? Oh, crap. I'm out. God damn it. Why do they have to be so expensive? No, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Damn it. There we go. Now we're rolling. I think I'm supposed to do this. I think I should set up some landmines here. Let's get him going. Oh, God. Landmine. Landmine. No, no. God damn it. I gotta dismantle this thing. Send him out here. Just send in some firepower. Uh, 
uh, and I think this set this year. enough I guess I can try this thing out well, let's, let's, uh, let's be able to like rotate this thing oh maybe not or no all right let's just start it oh god God damn it. Should just set up some electricity here. I don't think we need anything. I think we're good. I guess I better destroy these things. should be good.
this. Oh, I'll do it off screen. What else is there? Is there more? No, that's all of them. Get Amber. Up. There we go. Now we just need to worry about getting those gems. Okay, you know what? I think I should probably end it. So, yes, thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you 